Hi and welcome to Active Client Systems. I just had a mess around with my system. I'd just like to talk about the large intestine meridian. Okay, When you have a problem with the large intestine meridian, what you can do to help yourself is just press into here and hold that for 10 seconds. Put some aromatherapy oils on there. Make sure they don't burn you. Make sure that you're okay with them. The next thing that you can do, the next point, is on this finger here. So just pressing down, holding that for 10 seconds, that can help with the large intestine meridian. The other thing is, is uh, uh, the colour it relates to is yellow. So yellow, this would be the third chakra, power and self-will. So if you're finding it hard to get yourself going in the morning or you're uh, trying to write a book or you want to do a special course or uh, there's lots of things that you want to do in your life but you never seem to achieve them, that's a problem with the third chakra okay as well as with that meridian okay so on top of that the emotion that is related to that is worry and you hear people say I'm sick to the stomach of that person so when you say you're sick to the stomach of that person your what you're saying is going into your system so you must make sure that you don't that you watch what you say it's really really important okay the other thing that you can do is wear the color yellow and say my power and self will become stronger every day Go and have a, a gut massage. There's a book by Matt Manchia called Internal Organ Massage where you learn about how to massage your own internal organs to build up the chi flow in the body. So remember, the, uh, the meridians are pushing chi and energy around the body. Now, in some medical people don't believe in chi or they don't believe in meridians, but the meridians have been around since we've been around and it dates back if you look at uh, Chinese and Japanese mythology, it goes right, right back through their history. So if they can feed their families on, you know, rice a day and they only eat about that much rice and they have a little cup of tea and, you know, very rarely do you see obese Chinese people or Japanese people, I believe that that's the way that we should go and that's what we should look at in really to get ourselves healthy. So this is an holistic way in, to look at the stomach meridian. It's yin and yang, the only yang meridian that crosses through the yin area from the backside of the body to the stomach. It is located in the center of the lower edge of the eye socket. Okay, the meridian runs uh, down downwards to the edge of the mouth and past the outside of the jaw. So it's going from here all the way down, all the way down the body. And obviously getting into that finger there, you can tap into that, okay? And they're showing a diagram that you can go higher up as well in which to hit that meridian. So there's an idea for you. If you get in stomach issues, give that a go. It may work. Hopefully it will. Uh, I'm Scott Bryant of Active Bryant Systems, check master level four. If you're looking for some help with your meridians and you'd like to learn about rebalancing your body because I educate my clients. I don't just do the stuff on you, I educate you so you can so you know what I know so then that way you get the best out of me and I enjoy doing that as well. So I'm Scott Bryant of Active Bryant Systems. If you like to know more about meridians just comment at the bottom or and prescribe at the top and uh, thanks very much. Bye bye.